What's going on guys? In today's video, I'll be specifically showing you how to create SEO optimized outlines that will increase the likeliness that your overall blog post will rank on Google. Your outline is going to be very, very important and a key ranking factor to determine whether or not your blog post will rank on Google. So in today's video, I'll be showing you both free and paid methods that you can follow to create SEO optimized outlines for any types of blog posts. So let's go ahead and get started. First, let's take a look at the free method. The first thing that you want to do is head over to Google and search up the keyword in which you're trying to rank for. So let's say, for example, I wanted to rank for the keyword best video editing software. So I would search up that keyword on Google and you need to have the Harpa AI Chrome extension. Now, Harpa AI is a Chrome extension which allows you to extract key information from websites and it's completely free to use. So once you have that downloaded, I'll leave a link for that in the description below this video. You want to pull Harpa up once you um, head over to the top ranked blog post. So I've searched up that keyword, best video editing software. Now I'm going to scroll down to some of the top ranked blog posts. So I'm going to open up the first one, which is from Shopify. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Control A, and that's going to pop up Harper AI. And instead of using one of the pre-built um, templates, so they have various templates or prompts in which you can use, I'm going to write my own prompt the prompt that I'm using is I'll be telling the AI to extract the outline from this blog post and list the H1, H2, H3 headers and extract the main topics mentioned and the commonly asked questions for this specific blog post. And in order to make sure that the AI is reading that actual web page, I need to hit page text. So that will tell the AI to read this specific page and the text on that page and execute this um, prompt. So once you hit enter, the AI will then execute that prompt. So we have the intro, we have the main content, we have the main topics, H1, H2, H3, um, H1, H2, H3, the conclusion, FAQ section, and um, just a conclusion there. So this is going to be a very, very in-depth um, sort of summary of the outline from this article. And the idea here is that we're going to take the summary of articles um, for their outlines, for the topics and the commonly asked questions for about three or four of the top ranked blog posts for this specific keyword. And then we're going to ask ChatGPT to combine um, that information to create one SEO optimized outline. So once you copy over your content, I like to paste it into a Word doc and then I'll take it all together and combine it on ChatGPT. So that was just for one um, of the top ranked articles. Let's go ahead and do the same thing for a second article. This is from PC Mag. So again, we're going to do the same thing. Control A. And then we're going to go back over. I'm going to use the same prompt because this prompt worked pretty well. And I'm going to hit page text to make sure that Harpa is reading that page. Paste in our prompt, click enter and let the AI do its thing. Okay, so that's finished. I'm going to copy that over. And again, I'm going to paste this into our Word doc. Boom. Now let's go ahead and do the same thing for one other outline. So this is from creative blog. And again, again, we just repeat the process here. I'm only going to do it for three outlines because I think you guys kind of get the idea here. But once you do this, the reason why this works really well is because there's a reason why these blog posts are ranked number one on Google. Yes, they probably have some really good authority within that space, but they've also um, done the best practices to make sure that these articles are ranking on the first page of Google. And a little bit of a tip is, is that if you really want to create an SEO optimized article that's even better, what I would do is I would kind of scroll down to like maybe the sixth or seventh blog post. So maybe so maybe an article from Gartner or another kind of um, lesser known website, because if that website is ranking and it's lesser known, then that means they've probably optimized their content a lot better because these big websites like Shopify and PC Mag, they rank a lot easier because they already have a lot of authority. But again, you can do this um, for any single um, web page or any single top ranking blog post for any keyword in which you're going after. So again, let's go ahead and copy over our prompt. We're on the creative blog here. We're going to hit page text and we're going to paste this in and click enter. OK, so now we're going to copy that over and paste it into our Word document. And now let's go ahead and formulate our prompt and combine all of these outlines to create one SEO optimized outline for this specific keyword. I'm now on ChatGPT. I'm using GPT-4 and the problem that I've used is I've told it that we're going to be creating a comprehensive in-depth SEO optimized blog post outline for an article about the best video editing software. Use the H1, H2, H3 headings, topics, FAQs uh, below to create one SEO optimized article. Feel free to add your own headers that is applicable and relevant for this blog post. 
be unique when creating the outline and always write in markdown and i've went ahead and i've included the um the outlines the faqs and the topics that we got back from some of the top ranked blog posts for this specific keyword so let's go ahead and run this prompt and see how it does and see if we're able to get back a comprehensive and in-depth blog post outline. Okay, so here it is starting up the 15 best and free video editing software for beginners in 2023. We get an intro, why video editing is crucial in today's day and age, the role of video content, the rise of video platforms, and the need for quality content. 15 best free video editing softwares as a for a beginner in 2023. So we had 15 different tools in which we can use. And this is really good because the reason why this method works well is because we're able to get more up-to-date information because if i just were to run this input on ChatGPT, it may not have newer softwares that are up and coming they may have softwares that are you know still up to 2021 so we're able to get more outputs here and um, this allows us to be able to write a more in-depth blog post so here's the complete outline that we got back from gpt4 15 best free video editing softwares for beginners in 2023 and it goes over a variety of different um, softwares, but it doesn't actually go ahead and list every single software. It says to continue with the rest of the software in a similar pattern. So I'm not sure if it'll actually be able to follow those instructions because I like to actually see the softwares within the outlines, but I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Maybe once you run this, it'll actually go ahead and write about all of the other softwares because it did mention 15. Um, but then we have a Another section which talks about how to choose a video editor, navigating the wor world of video editing software, evaluating user experience, and then we get a conclusion, call to action, and we get a FAQ, the mystifying video editing, and a couple of questions here about FAQ, um, and a couple of questions here about video editing. So I've also went ahead and ran this on GPT 3.5, and it kind of got the same output. We get an intro, we get the main content, which talks about the 15 best, again, free video editing softwares. And then it also has a section which says to continue this pattern for the remaining software options, how to choose a video editor, a conclusion, and a FAQ. Now, I've also went ahead and ran this on Claude, so the 10 best video editing software options for 2023. We had an intro, how to choose the best video editors, their top three picks, full reviews of the top 10 video editors, and they actually list all 10 of them, which I really like. And for each one of them, they talk about the overview, the key features, the pricing, and the pros and cons. And then we have the key factors to consider when choosing a software and a conclusion and final recommendations. So overall, I think we're able to get pretty decent outputs. I kind of like what we got back from Claude because it makes a lot of sense. It um, kind of approaches this article in a very logical manner. It talks about its top three picks and it actually has all 10 of the articles. I'm sorry, all 10 of the um, video softwares, which I think would be much better when you're actually writing the content because then it will be able to refer back to this outline um, and be able to write you a full comprehensive blog post so that's the free method in which you can follow to create seo optimized outlines the next method is a paid method but it's fairly affordable because it's a method using new and writer new and writer is a content optimization tool if you wanted to get a lifetime deal you can get a lifetime deal from AppSumo. so you just pay one time for new and writer and you you're able to get it access forever so it's pretty cheap because you're not paying monthly for this tool but essentially what you can do is you can head over to new and writer and new and writers essentially allows us to do what we just did but in a much more automatic um, way the first thing that you want to do is start off by entering the keyword in which you're going after again we're going after best video editing software we're going to hit start and new and writer is going to go out and automatically scrape the top 15 or the top 10 um, blog posts for this specific keyword and it's going to give us recommendations that we need to follow if we would like to rank for this specific keyword Okay, so once that's completed, then we would be able to go ahead and kind of size up our competitors. So we can see here um, which competitors we want to go after. So for instance, we can choose, we can select or deselect any competitors in which we don't want to go after. So maybe we know we're not going to outrank Shopify or PC Mac. So we can deselect those blog posts and then we can select other blog posts in which we have um, better confidence in knowing that we can outrank. So once you've selected or deselected your competitors, next you want to head over to the content editor. And this is where you'll actually be able to create your outline using new writer once you're in the content editor you want to head over to create article draft the reason why this method is really effective is because new writer will go ahead and grab all of the h1 h2 and h3s from the top ranked blog posts and it's all in one place so all you have to do is go ahead and add that um, to your outline or your article draft 
and you'll be able to create a very very optimized article because again you're taking information from some of the top ranked blog posts so for example i've already went ahead and added in some h1s you don't need to add anything more than two h1s but now i can select only h2 headers so what i can do now is i can add all of these specific sections like can you edit video on a smartphone what's the best free video editing software what about apple video editing software what is a video editing software what is the best what are the best options 15 free how to choose best youtube video editing software for 2023 so again you can go through these and whichever h2 you like the best you can add that into your article draft and you can always go ahead and change that afterwards if you want to remove anything um, within this draft now h3 i can go ahead and add this in um, what do most youtubers use is open shot video really free which adobe video editor is free is it easy to use does it require internet access does it have motion tracking what are the multi-cam options da, da, da. so again we're getting a lot of different questions here and a lot of different content ideas that we can use within our blog post so those are going to be your h1 h2 and h3s then you can also go ahead and filter by questions so these are going to be the most commonly asked questions for this specific um, topic so what is the most used video editing software again i can paste that in there editing software does mr beast use so again, these are really, really good questions that you can add into your article. So once you're finished here, what you can do is you can then go ahead and copy this over to the editor. So this is going to go right into the editor. As you can see here, our content optimization score already went up to 20 and we haven't even added in the actual content or the contents of the blog post. And that's because we've used some high quality and SEO optimized H1 and H2 tags. The only drawback I think to this method is that while you're getting really good H1, H2, H3 tags and questions, you can't really write a blog post um, based upon how it's formatted right now. So what I would do is I would copy over all of this information and then do the same thing in which we did with the first method. Copy this over, head over to ChatGPT, paste it in there and use the same prompt and tell it to create a blog post but incorporate these h1 h2 h3 tags and the questions within that blog post so as you can see there's a variety of different ways in which you can go about creating very in-depth comprehensive seo optimized out outlines you can do it for completely free with harpa ai or you can use a paid tool like new and writer or you can combine the two to create um, very very good outlines so i hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and i hope that you learned something new if you did let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.